And we're back. Uh, what was the last thing that said? I remember that there was something else that I said, and it does not let me look back, so I guess we're not going to see the corner of the garage in a blind spot, which couldn't be seen from the drawing board in the shadow of the glider, where the whispering we were whispering to each other. Could he have told us the details about what had happened in the room last night? Uh, seems pretty meaningful. だからもう私どうしたらいいかわからなくって心平整理ってことなんじゃないかなもう引退もマジかなわけだしいやだそんな悲しいこと言わないでよ私だって言いたくないわよでもしょうがないじゃない。Usually, even if you could a club, you can you, you still carry on coming to school. However, in Amine's case, she's already gained enough credit, so as long as she doesn't fail any of her exams, she'll be able to graduate. And she said before, when she leaves, she'll go back home to help her father with his work. She probably won't come to school anymore. When we think about it, we all start to feel really down. Because of Amine giving us his flight log back to Kotori last night, we became strongly aware of the situation. <laughs> According to the diary, it seems that Iska was the pilot. Amine made it, and Iska flew it, it looks like. Those were their no roles. I remember when we first joined the club, Amine said, I had said that there was no pilot. That must have been what she was talking about. In the log were all the details of the production process. Rather than being a flight log, it was more like a production log. So I wondered why Iska called it a flight log. But it seems that Iska was a particularly diligent writer. There are numerous days where nothing is written. There are a lot of things that wouldn't mean anything if someone else were to read it. For example, it was pointless talking to her about that thing. She doesn't know anything about what it's like to be young, and so on. The only ones who would understand was the person who wrote it, and <coughs> wrote it and her, most likely Amine. <laughs> She might think of it as something you've inherited. Misuka's dreams. You came to the Soren Club because you found it, didn't you? So, don't you think that maybe Iska brought you here? Jeez. Iska's dreams of longing for the sky are revealed here in the flight log. If those dreams are what moved Kotori, it could be said that she had inherited them. <clears throat> Try to remember in the beginning when we were talking about getting new members, Amine wasn't very positive about it. But her attitude completely changed when you brought her that photo in the flight log, didn't it? Kotori, who feels a heavy sense of responsibility, makes a serious face as she goes into deep thought. If the music, st music stop, it's gonna be something serious. Okay, I flick through the flight log. At some point, I won't be able to stay here. Was written there. Looks like she didn't have much of a connection to the <clears throat> connection to the context of what's written before and after. It just appears suddenly and seems kind of out of place. Also, the same kind of thing appears several times. Upon reading more, it doesn't really say why they had to leave. Goodly opens a page in the log. This is what was written there. I still can't forget the emotion I felt when I saw that photo. It's 
such a beautiful view it could be from above the town where we live and the sky that is always there stretching out far and wide. Even so, she didn't seem so surprised and looked like she wasn't, wasn't moved at all. That's why I thought I'm going to take you there for sure. When she sees the real thing, even Amine would be brought to tears. She'll definitely be moved by it, no doubt about it. This is the page where the photo was placed inside the book. You might be right. There's no way that Amine, who is scared of heights, would want to fly above the clouds. Despite that, she caused problems for her father and continued to stay at school, becoming the super repeat student. She must have wanted to see the view that Hisuka wanted to show her. Quickly <laughs> jumping out of her wheelchair, hastily hit the flight log behind her back. <laughs> Amane looks at me. Not like she says, just talking amongst herselves. Miss Answer, Amane pouts. Ah, crap, she's really upset. Since she was concentrating on the drawing board, I thought she wouldn't notice what we were doing. <laughs> Good job, now we have to do that. Kudley's voice fades away. Although she is in his excuse in the heat of the moment, we don't really want to talk about how many leaving. In the place of Kotli, who had fallen silent, I continue the story. When we were planning in secret because we thought we might surprise you, we're gonna prepare all your favorite things. <laughs> Seems as she believed us, and then she returned to her position in front of the drawing board. Oh. Yeah, that's fine, let's have a farewell party. I'm not in agreement with Kosovi. It's not that I want to say goodbye to Amine. However, if that's the way it is, I want to give her a proper send-off. Is this the only thing you need? Follow Amine into the stationary store. Today I've gone shopping with Amine. I'm what you might call a bag carrier. Even so, going out with Amine, just the two of us could be called one of the perks of the job. Yes. Nope. Shall we head back? Yeah, no problem at all. How many bought paper and equipment for drawing and also some other tools for what purpose? I don't know. The amount and the weight would be too much for Amine to carry by herself. Oh, uh, well, I thought it might be tough to do it by yourself. Today I've been trusted with a secret mission. While the others prepare for the farewell party, I have to buy them some time. A few days ago, it was quickly decided that we would hold the farewell party, but in order to surprise Amine even just a little, we planned to keep... We, we planned to keep... Oh, at the very least, a day and time of the party a secret. That was weird. Right now, Kutli and the others should be proceeding with the preparations at the dormitory. Did he say that out loud? I guess he did. I should be alright with that. Dang it, I guess she didn't hear. They had called for some help, so they told me not to worry. Oh, I think it's backwards. I think this is what... Yeah, okay, I think I see what's going on. Alright, I think I see what's going on. The part where he's talking shouldn't be him talking, and then this, where it doesn't say he's talking, should be him talking. Huh, how many? Where are you going? Why aren't you gonna put them in the garage? Not really. It must be why she's buying large amounts of the same things as she has on our desk in the garage. Oh, uh, well, uh, this is bad if she goes back to the dormitory like this, they'll be caught in the middle of the preparations. Uh, why don't we go for a little stroll? All of a sudden, her face seemed to say, but she agreed to it. Alright, let's go as far as possible. That's not suspicious at all. Not 
she probably wouldn't notice anyway. As far as possible, following that idea, I chose the course of the stroll. If we took a detour past the lake along the promenade, then I noticed that we were walking up a gentle slope. As though she was impressed by the sight of windmills lined up along the gently sloping hill, Amane let us sigh. Is this the first time you've seen them? Not many people would have seen this place from the air. I was one of those few people. I feel quite proud of that. That was when I had moved away from here. I see at that time Amine was already a student of Keifu Academy. You were in the robotics club during your first year, after that you joined the Sauron Club, didn't you? Uh, together with Isuka, is that right? For a moment, Amine looks at me in a mysterious way, then nods. She must find it strange to hear us using Isuka's name. I was invited to Isuka. Isuka was invited to find the garage and the I wish I could have seen it. You at that time. I'm gonna the same age as Kotoyun again. I'm gonna look at her own body again. The moves must have been just as big back then, too. Kotoyun would be jealous if she heard that. Her looks aside, I can't imagine Amane Mochizuki is an innocent young girl. She still is like an innocent young girl. Her height might not have changed much since the time she joined the robot club. What did you do in the club back then? それも今と。それに みんなと。小鳥や揚げ葉や葵くんと一緒に何かをするのが楽しい。主役が完成した時のことを覚えているかい。いや、オフコース。あの時嬉しかったんだ。みんなの力が。うん。気持ち。うまい。うまくだから飛ぶのは怖かったけどテストフライトが楽しみだったあのねそう Says Amane as she looks into the distant view on the other side of the lake. That's, that's why it's your goal in that place, even if she's all alone. Maybe even now Amane isn't really that into making gliders. The thing that she's chasing after is not the sky, but Iska. Uh, where is Iska now? Question I had been on the verge of asking before, but refrained from just slipped out. Mm -hmm. Amanea looks at the windmills turning slowly in the wind. <laughs> Amanea was smiling, not like she was sad or lonely, but like she had given up. I regret at asking such an unnecessary question. Not knowing what to say next, I look up at the windmills with her. Every time I see them, it's such a tranquil scene. It feels as if living life, rushing around, living according to time, is so silly. Yeah, uh, the windmills, they're also solar panels to generate electricity. And they're direct to the sun in the middle of the summer. They must be working like crazy right now. Huh? No, well, what shall we do? Maybe we should stay a little longer. Check the time on my cell phone, it's still a bit too early. Eh? But it's hot. Look, the rain is so 
She says she pulls her sweaty clothes away from her chest. That's what a gay has said once. This is the area that gets most sweaty. Okay, let's go to the convenience store. I'll buy you an ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Looking like she was about to start drooling, I'm gonna immediately start walking and go after her carrying the bags. Yeah, go ahead, have whichever one you like. In order, to buy, in order to buy them sometime, it looks like I'll need to get her to eat about two or three ice creams. We're gonna be eating later, but that shouldn't be a problem for Mamane. Mamane, she never eats anything anyway. Tadaima! What was that sound effect? Was that clapping? Was that like a, I don't know, a firecracker? What was that? Going into the entranceway, Amine is surprised by the sound of a cracker. Okay, it was a cracker. I didn't read that. Seeing Kosmi and Agea there, she said. With a big question mark over her face, Amani is brought into the dining hall without hesitation. She showed her amaze, her amazement when she saw the spectacle waiting her inside. Follow her inside, I also let a little gasp. There, the dining table was overflowing with food. Cutting in a gas smile at each other. Seems that she really had forgotten and said, Oh, yeah, and nodded when she finally remembered. And if you try your best to forget something, wouldn't that just make the memory more vivid? It's not what Amine is like, though. She's not ordinary. Sorry, Amine, we didn't want you to see the preparations for the party. That's why I've been talking you to all these different places all day. Uh, that's not what this was about. No, I just said... Uh, yeah. Shut up, William. More importantly, you guys have done a great job getting all this food ready. By the looks of it, it's a Western course. There's Italian and French, but I'm not familiar enough with the cuisine to give particular names. However, there's also things like roast beef and chicken. That must have been cooked in the oven, so there's a lot of real rest. So it's a lot like real restaurant. As Kotoli spoiled the surprise slightly, Hibali, who couldn't wait any longer, came into the dining hall. Gross. Oh, I see, so that's why. Then, after Hibali, Yanchan came in. We invited him to surprise Amane. Amane? インタイおめでとう。達也。ありがとう。いいのかな私たちも混ぜてもらって。ええんじゃねえの。俺らも草むしり手伝ったんだし。あ、それ、マスチュキ I thought you went back home. Uh, she must have been wandering around her underwear again. But we can't leave her out of the party, so uh, uh, she helped out too. Looks like she's talking about someone else's party. Don't go too crazy, this building's old and falling apart, you know.
おいしいおいしい<笑>相変わらずだわねがっかり感が半端ないわね Everyone sighs and they see the way Amune eats, it totally ruins the effect of her good looks. どうしたのみんななんでもないわ料理気に入ってもらえてよかったですうんおいしいすごいな今日の料理は豪華だなひばり姉が腕を振るってくれたからね小鳥ちゃんの大切な先輩さんなんですもの半端なお料理は出せないわこの時期おいしいなあっ<笑>ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。Should you have to listen to what he says? It's your life. Ne, ne, Ancha mo, so I ring bo, who cuts us at a toki no member nano? Oreka? Oreva chigozo? Atokara sasuaretanda. By Amane? Do that tokana. Tatuya was a sotan. Miska. What does she got put up at so mite? Miska, whatever mazu eat, he does. I didn't understand, but we got it straight away. And that's when he asked Anchan. He. Anchan was a man who 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 was a man. あとこれは誰にも言っちゃいけないってイスカから言われていたんだった危ない危ないそれってやっぱあれじゃないねえイマのスワリング部を始めたのはイスカとアマネだ当時2人でできたんですか部活に当時の生徒会は甘かったからな特にあまねには何せ学校創立以来の天才少女だ先生もだっちいせきえそうだったのかわたしは天才なんかじゃないのにな。いつかにいつもバカだバカだと言われていた。あまね先輩のことをそんなふうに言えちゃうなんて。いつかってそんなにすごい子だったのああ、いつかは天才だった。あまね先生は、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Genius, that's the process. I'm gonna emotion Suzuki. Can't imagine it. Looking over towards Anchan, he shrugs his shoulders and smiles. Iska, Iska, I'm just getting to know. Garage, to so many name with the grader. I'm gonna know as well. Busily biting into her chicken. Haru, he just then he picked up. Super cool thing I found. So that. A lot of the details were left out, but I understood it for the most part. I decided not to delve any further. This kind of thing happens often when talk to Amane. Amane. You guys are riding on the train. The train was originally OB's idea. I was the one who helped Amane. I've been trying to make everything for Amane. The OB's people were so good. Amane was so good. Hearing about the achievements of the club members from days gone by made our own achievements seem quite insignificant. We gotta work harder. While we talk about the history of the Soaring Club, 
the ones who <clears throat> don't have much to do with it were just enjoying the food. Bacon. どれどれ。おお、マジでうめえ。いいな、こういう飯。うちじゃラーメンと餃子ばっか食わされてるからな。うちのお父さんが養殖嫌いだから、あんまりこういうの食べたことないよ。おかわりどんどんしてね。まだ
設計の細部まで煮詰め直すことにしたんだ the result of which are these designs. でも結局作らなかったのよね question is answered by on chat ボディに加工を加えているし主翼を一から作り直す必要もあるこれを実現しようと思ったら相当な時間と費用が必要になっただろう They've been working on this from back then on chan would have been the center of the production できなくはないだろうが難しかっただろうなそれに設計図はまだ完成していないなかなかアイデアがまとまらないんだ私はバカだからな Drink break. <laughs> After the meal, we went out into the garden to play with fireworks. Since the farewell party was planned in a hurry, there was a limit to what we'd be able to do, but I wanted to play with fireworks with Amine. Said Kodali, who isn't exactly our leader, but she decided it there and then. There were no objections, the rest of us also wanted to play with fireworks with Amine. It's just like a constant droning white noise that's not any fireworks I've ever heard. Amani is doing handheld fireworks with Koto. Oh, those are just like little ones that you hold on a string. Both seem to find these fireworks unusual and are enjoying themselves. Don't light anything on fire. Gaia getting fired up is carrying fountain type fireworks. Uh, the one, one in each hand, they are normally placed on the ground. If you light them, then wave your arms around, you can chase after people, which is one of our. They don't do it. We finally created a peaceful atmosphere and you're gonna mess it up. This is what an older sister being scolded by a younger sister looks like. Shout out Masatsugu as he came running in from the side, he was lighting large numbers of mini pinwheels and throwing them all over the place. <laughs> Dumbass, what are you gonna do if someone gets burned? Hold it right there. Masatsugu running around like a little monkey suddenly stopped in his tracks and the blink of an eye on Chan grabbed him by the scruff of his neck. Speaking kindly, on Chan took Masatsugu over the shadows. ああ、あんちゃんを怒らせちゃいけない。もう子供じゃないんだ。お前だって女の子に嫌われたくないだろ。はい。はい。ごめんなさい。Couldn't A what? Kanako came carrying a tray into the garden. I don't know what that is, but I already like it. What the heck is condensed milk syrup? Hi, hi. 
押さない押さないちゃんと全員の分あるから Thanks for going to all this trouble. Yeah, in this. That the Kotori Changa Hanami Tano Suma this one. He believes it's a little tearful. I guess that since I came to the dormitory, the only real thing she's enjoyed was eating ice cream. At some point, the days where Kotori doesn't smile have become fewer, and she has fun every day. Not just Kotori, but the rest of us too. Yeah, maybe. It was something that brought us all together, something that would make us all feel the same. How many of us can start it, and then myself and the others will continue with it. But how many won't be around for much longer? Kakigori ka? Ore wa lemon aji ni suru kana? Anchan, ore mo kutte ii? Anseu shita ka? Ah, shita yo! Ore, onna no ko ni kiraware taku nai. Anta, sore dou yu hansei no shikata yo? Use. お前だけは女とは認めねえなんだとかなたっくいちいち騒がしい連中ねもう落ち着いて食べられないじゃんなあきっきーっときたーあ冷たくて美味しいなこの不思議な青色が食欲をそそる strange blue color Fireworks and shaved ice is one of the memories of summer. Nothing beats this. After eating the shaved ice,、uh, there were still some fireworks left. Looks like a guy got Hotoru and Masatsugi to buy them, but it's kind of a problem because they don't know mu how much is too much. Head over to work with Yuna Gayar to play with more fireworks. I don't like them both, but rather than getting really noisy and excited about it, I want to make sure make the most out of the last remnants of the summer. As I light the handheld can candle, firework on Chan comes up beside me. Hanchan, will you do? This tepoo gata no yatsu toka do? Ah, sore atashi no saiko ni yaro to omote da yatsu. Iya, ore wa iyo. Omae ra ga tanoshindeiru no kou yatte nagameteru dake de jiugun da. Everyone looked at him like they didn't really understand what he meant. Munchan sat down next to me and looked over at Amane, who was also doing fireworks a little further away. Amane was doing sparklers with Masasugu and Hotaru. Nanda ka kawaii na kono hanabi wa. Senko hanabi wa saigo ni yaru mon daro. Yes, a CG. Screenshot. いいの、好きなんだもん。うん、私もだ。チェ、女ってこういうの好きだよな。アンチャン、watching over them had a kind, kind yet sad look in his eyes. Hey, アンチャン。ん？ Where did this go? As I ask, Kotori and Gaia raise their heads. どうしてそんなことを聞くんだ？アンチャん must realize that it's been on our minds. Despite that, and that's how he answered. Amane told us that she went away somewhere. Well, I don't know. I don't know where she went. That's what Amane said earlier today when I asked her at Woodmill Hill. Amane continued to build the glider because she wanted to know why Isuka was so obsessed with it. She might understand it if she passes through the passage of clouds, is what she said. <sighs> hey, Anchan, why did Isuka go away? I, or rather, all of us had predicted the same answer. That she had died in an accident. It was a terrible thing to think, and we didn't want to be right about it. So, what kind of? You don't know. Anshan's face seemed to say, "How do you know about that?" Ah, so that. Isuka was in that accident. So, maybe. And in response to Kotori's murmuring, Anshan lowers his head like he can't say anything. That was the summer during which Amane and I were in the summer. At that time, Amane and I were not afraid of the wind. The accident that happened was clear to see the fear of the wind. But what happened there was not clear to us. Isuka was never returned to the same place. So she really did die after all. Or it seems that Anshan has another explanation. If it was that Isuka died, it would have been a bigger problem. But 
しかし学校側は事故をもみ消しなかったことにした以来その話はタブーとなった Really that teacher seemed to just bring it up like it was nothing 探さなかったの探そうとしたさけどイスカは寮生で一人暮らし実家がどこにあるか誰も知らなかったトビウオソウのオーナーさんなら知っていたんじゃ教えてはもらえなかったどうやら口止めされていたらしい Then I'm gonna also... あいつも俺と同じでイスカがどうなったのか知らないはずだアマネはイスカがいなくなった後もグライダー制作を続けたまるでそうすることでイスカが戻ってくるって信じてるみたいにあんちゃんも続けてたんでしょあんちゃんシャクスヘッドイスカがいなくなった後もアマネは変わった人を寄せつけなくなったあのアマネちゃんが Looked at each other like we couldn't believe it. それ以来俺はアマネと疎遠になっていった気には止めていたんだがな誰もいないガレージで孤独に浸るあいつを見ているのがつらかったそれに何より突然イスカを失って俺もかなり参ってた I didn't know what to say. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue to work on the glider all alone in that great big garage. Aunt Sean hurt deeply from losing someone. I didn't want to imagine either of them like that. What does that you got the other dog? Oh, man, it's almost so many. What does that you okay? Let the credit all. Demo, bring you a little cut on you. Set your tickets and I got the Thing that made her become more positive was cuddly bringing the photo in Iska's flight log. Saigets got his own yesterday. Amane no Katakuna Samo Hyoka stay it done the row. Kedo Aitsga Annani Tanus Tony Sterno Aoita no Kaketa to Mu Mata Iroga Kawata Mojiroina Kire this me. An innocent smile lit up Amane's face as she watched the little sparks crackling and popping. <laughs> the rainbow colored lights reflected in her eyes as she watched earnestly, like a little ch kid. Amane found little mysteries in each of the little sparks, and her curiosity made her heart flutter. Amane. <laughs> Anchan An -chan watched over her with a kind look in his eyes, but it was like he was looking at something far, far away. I was not a friend of my own, and I didn't have anything to do with my friends. It was a good story, but I was happy to be with you and with you. I was happy to be with you and with you. Anchan will continue to be with her. Anchan shook his head. I was a bit of a friend of mine. I was a friend of mine. 手伝えることがあれば手を貸すよ。引退までの間、アマネのことを頼む。Yeah, totally、もしもし、達也です。はい。はい。本当ですか、吉沢さん。わかりました。明日の朝一番で取りに行きます。Anchan grins as he ends the car. And what is it? Yorogobe, Omera! When he told us, he suddenly became about twice as excited. Then. Amane Senpai! Tomorrow, the winches. Winchy. As we tell her, Amane tilts her head and looks at us dubiously. Sumari? Oh, we can start testing again for tomorrow. Or from tomorrow. We forgot all the last remnants of summer. We were already thinking about the next day. Man, it's gonna be a shorter video than most of the other ones, but I'm gonna end it there, because I think that's a nice place to end it on. We'll just see how it starts up, like I always do.
校舎裏にひっそりと立つ古びたガレージ Alright, well I'm not sure what's gonna be happening here but it looks interesting so I'm gonna end it there Save, get rid of this I already got my CG What is this music? Sounds nice. Alright, well, anyway, thank you for watching, and goodbye.